What is up everyone, this is Mogame here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the League of Legends VAN128 error code that you may be facing when you're trying to play League of Legends. So let's get right into this. So there's a couple of things that I want to make sure that you guys do do. Make sure the game is updated, like right now how I says for me to update the game. Make sure you do have like the latest version installed for the game and it's updated so you can actually play it correctly right so if you actually obviously have the latest update and you're still having this error the first thing you need to do is you want to click into at the bottom right go, to go into the task manager and anything that says riot client or vanguard or whatever you want to basically close it out by like clicking into it right clicking into it and doing end task anything that says riot client right so you want to basically do that the next thing you want to do uh, if that should fix the issue if that doesn't fix the issue the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go click into the search bar at the bottom right and we're going to type in services until we see like these two columns thingy pop up and in here we're just going to write VGC until we see this pop up we're gonna double click into it and we're going to change it from startup type automatic into uh, from, so it's gonna be on manual you're gonna change it from manual to automatic because that's what it's going to say most likely for you and you want to change it from uh, where it says service status stop to start and then you want to basically press apply this should most likely fix it for you as well. If this is not fix it, the last thing we're gonna do is in the search bar again, we're gonna type in CMD, we're gonna right click into it, we're gonna do run as administrator. And once we do this run as administrator, there's a couple of things we're gonna do here. The first thing we're going to do is IP config slash flush, DN, uh, flush DNS to flush the DNS resolver cache. That's the first thing we're going to do. And the next thing, next thing we're going to do is we're going to write net sh winsock reset to basically reset the windsock catalog we're going to restart the computer now and you should not have this error persistent any longer and you should be good to go so yeah that's basically it if you guys are like the video please smash that like button guys in your channel make sure to subscribe click that notification bell and i'm gonna be out peace